Yo, what's up guys, John Bugle here, and we are here with the 40 something subchapter. I don't remember exactly which one it is, but bam, there it's on screen. A lot of people are hyping up this subchapter, but we'll see. Of course, I've done this before a couple of times in the past already, so it shouldn't really be too difficult at all. And as expected, of course, the first stage is just an Aros stage. I mean, nothing too special here at all. Pretty sure this is just Aros with Henry, if I remember correctly. But yeah, we're finally back for another SOL playthrough. And yes, remember, these are just playthroughs. They are not guides. Expect a lot more of these playthroughs to happen because we're pretty close to finishing SOL. Then we can hop into the other guides we need to finish up like the rest of the advents and I know a lot of you have been waiting for all of the rest of the advent guides and they are coming soon I just gotta make sure I get out all of these SOL videos first I mean we still got a lot to go through oh okay I didn't actually remember this well it doesn't really matter anyways since one of the Aros died but yeah, it looks like there's more than two Aras in the stage. I don't remember that. Now I can see why some people might struggle in this stage. I was like, oh, there's only two Aras? This is such an easy stage. But with two Aras stacked up with Henry, I can see why some people might struggle with this stage. But there goes Aras, and Henry alone is a joke, and we almost got Bahamut up, so yep. Pretty easy first level to start off. Maybe I'm missing the reason why a lot of people are hyping up this subchapter. Maybe I'm forgetting something. We'll see. But yeah, there we go. First level out the way. On to the next level of the subchapter. I'm pretty sure this is one of the shorter subchapters at 7 stages or 6 stages. Yeah, let's see what we got next. Uh, okay, we got a funny stage up next. I do remember this. I'm pretty sure this is just Calamaria spam. Okay, so there's Gories as well, so it was a good idea to bring pizza. As you could probably tell, I don't actually remember this subchapter as much as I remember the previous subchapter we did. By the way, if you didn't see that as well playthrough, make sure to go watch it. Yeah, this stage is kind of a joke. Calamaria is single target, so very easy to just staller spam. I mean, you could bring a whole bunch of 75 cent stallers and you'll be good. Whoa, okay, zombie enemies. I did not expect that. Well, that is Ponos for you. Just throw in zombies in a random stage and bam. Yeah, pizza just completely destroyed the zombie peon, so isn't too much of an issue there. Simple, simple stage. I mean, nothing too much to say here. On to the next level of the subchapter. I'm pretty sure this is the Brawler stage. We'll see. Yep, and it is. And wow, okay. <laughs> they are super buff. But here we are. Kind of forgot about what this stage was. That name didn't look familiar at all. But as soon as that first Brawler destroyed the base, it came clear that this is the extremely boosted Brawler stage. I know guys, I know, chill, 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 chill. This is as original as it gets. This is Pono's innovation right here. This changes the whole game. This is something we've never seen before. Extremely boosted enemies in an SOL stage. Oh my god, write that down, write that down. But too bad, too bad for these extremely boosted brawlos we have, the man. Sanzo, the ultimate anti-floating unit. So this stage is gonna be a joke. Maybe this is why I wasn't too hyped for this subchapter because stages like this is where it's like, come on Ponos. There's at least something you could have done different here. And no, adding zombie brawlos to this stage doesn't count as something different. How much do you want to bet that a stage in the future is gonna be exactly like this but with different variants? So instead of brawlos, we're gonna get a super buff zombie brawlo stage. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Don't worry, it is gonna happen. Anyways, on to the next level of the subchapter. Here we are with one of the more interesting stages in the subchapter. Yes, a particularly easy stage, but still interesting and in where you face a Professor A and a Bun Bun, I'm pretty sure. And basically you get to decide which one you kill first and that'll unleash another boss in the stage. But what we're gonna do here is something a bit different and try to kill both at the same time so we just have that lone boss to fight at the end. But hey, we got Cyberpunk 
just in case we aren't able to kill Professor A. I actually don't remember what the boss is. Once you do kill one of these enemies, I'm pretty sure it's just the face. I mean, I'm probably expecting a very simple boss. Like, this stage had a lot of potential. Maybe there could have been a perfect cyclone as a boss, and that'll force you to kill Professor A first and not kill the Black Bun Bun first. So you can just deal with Bun Bun and the perfect cyclone with Octo. Oh, maybe I'm just missing something and the boss of this stage is actually a difficult boss. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> that's surprising. We actually killed Professor A and Bun Bun. Okay, um, yeah, <laughs> what did I expect? But unfortunate for Bun Bun, look who we got in the lineup. Sanzo erases Bun Bun's existence, so yeah. Once again, a level with so much potential to be such an exciting stage, but of course, we get the generic boosted Bun Bun. Anyways, on to the next level of the subchapter. Man, this subchapter really disappointing. More disappointing than I thought. And yeah, this is the... Borfim or Angel Boar and of course Razorback stage. And for a lot of these stages in the subchapter it's gonna be Sanzo bully time again. This time Bomber helping out Sanzo in this stage. But wow this is a pretty short subchapter. This is either the second last level or the third last level or well hell this could even be the last level of the subchapter and I don't remember. This would be a pretty shit level to end on though. But yeah nothing new here it is just Bomber and Sanzo abuse and a Bahamut is in there so that should pretty much wrap up this level a very very disappointing level. And we're moving on into either the second last level of the subchapter or the last level of the subchapter or this is the end, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, 175 energy count for this stage. This looks like it's the last level of the subchapter, which I do not remember at all. And the face. I actually did hop in this stage just to see what it was because I do not know or remember it. And as soon as I saw the face, I was like, okay, we're bringing Oxo. We're bringing Fishman, and wow, okay, well, a new enemy. I mean, we all know how enemy introduction levels are. This is most likely gonna be a big joke. But yeah, introduction stage for this enemy, what's his name? This frog enemy, I think his name is Croakly or Croak something, whatever his name is. He's a joke anyways, I mean, once you kill the face or just kill the walls protecting him and Cory. okay berserkery i don't remember that in this stage luckily we brought octo we don't have any ranged attackers aside from camera so it might be a bit troublesome to take down berserkery here i don't know what his boost is for this stage i completely did not expect berserkery to appear in this stage but here he is and, I don't know, camera stack with Oxo should be enough. We got Can Can as well for that burst damage, so I don't think we're gonna lose at all. Unless the Berserkery is like hyper boosted and we just get steamrolled. But he is dead, so that doesn't matter at all. And we got a knockback on the face, so that means Croakly is in range of death. <laughs> there we go. Aldi getting knockbacks. Yeah, he is very weak. And yeah, there we go. He's dead already. A couple seconds pass by and he just completely dies. And yeah, now we have a huge, massive stack of Octo and Can Can ready to come for the face. <laughs> the face looking like a hyper boost for this stage. So yeah, I'll take that over the Berserkery being hyper boosted. But even a hyper boosted face is not enough for Oxo, Fishman, Can Can, and Camera. And there we go, that is it. I'm pretty sure that was the last level. Actually, I'm 100% sure since it was the enemy introduction level. But yeah, that was SOL number 40 something. Once again, I forget which subchapter this is, but yeah, 40 something. Pretty disappointing subchapter. Drop a like if you did enjoy this video and want to see more SOL playthroughs in the future. Subscribe if you're new to not miss those new SOL playthroughs. And yeah, it's been John Boogle and I'll see you in the next one.
Indie Next as well. Wait a minute. 